You know, the heroes are sitting out here in the audience. It's very simple to do one or two cases, but it's the faithful who come to this every year. You are the faithful that are saving our society as we know it. In 1859, 50% of what people considered value south of the Mason-Dixon line was human beings. They had to have a national conversation about what that meant. They conducted that conversation with bullets and bayonets. Believe it or not, we're going to have a national conversation with the kind of entrenched economic interests that are every bit as big as that, every bit as entrenched as that, every bit as unwilling to think about what they're going to give up. Ask any about the recent spike in gasoline prices. It skyrocketed. I think it's absolutely absurd. A few weeks ago, we were paying like 320, 330. I don't see how it went up like 50 cents. When a small group of producers dominates a market the way a monopoly dominates a market, they're not regulated like a monopoly. They don't have to answer questions. It is time for transparency in pricing, and it's time for Californians to get a fair shake. We have a situation where we have insurance companies practicing medicine. They'll tell you when you go to court with them, we don't practice medicine, we contract with doctors. We are arrangers of services. We are facilitators. Uh, and as a friend of mine says, they're basically envelope stuffers who peel 20 to 25 percent off the top and then leave the patients and the doctors hanging and the victims. Anna decided to file a lawsuit against Kaiser, accusing them of botching her care and failing to perform an MRI that could have saved her leg. Anna's attorney says the evidence spoke volumes. We created a three-dimensional model of an earlier x-ray that had been done outside of Kaiser before she went there, and then the actual size of the tumor at the time, uh, four months later when it was finally diagnosed. It is really true that, that uh, when you're doing the Lord's work, when you're doing the work of angels, you know, helping people, it is easy to do it, isn't it? I mean, because I think most of you that are here are, are, are doing that. You're helping people. And you could keep doing that forever. The jury trial is vanishing in this country. And if the lawyers and judges do not care about what's going on, the jury trial will vanish. Well, I'm very, very, very happy uh, tonight to be celebrated by you because there's no better thing uh, than to be honored by the honorable and praised by the praiseworthy, and that's exactly what I feel like here tonight. I, Sheila Kuehl, during such times as I hold the office, during such times as I hold the office, Herb turned to me and he said, Wiley, he said, who was the governor of Illinois? when Clarence Darrow was practicing law. And I said, Herb, I have absolutely no idea. And he said, Wiley, that's exactly my point about what trial lawyers can do on behalf of their clients, not just in the individual cases, but the rules that we can make that help us all. I get to get up every morning and represent real people in real causes against insurance companies, corporations, or whatever the cause is. And the amazing thing is, is that there's many people I know in this room who s share the same passion and feeling that I do. We force the media to look beyond Schwarzenegger's wardrobe and into his cash register politics. We put the governor, this is my favorite, <laughs> we put the governor up for bid on eBay. Um, <laughs> Not just we have a, a pharmaceutical industry that's essentially sacrificed cures for profits when they're making, in the last five years they made 600, about, uh, almost $600 billion in profit and yet they didn't work on a cure for Ebola because it wasn't profitable enough. I mean, the, the priorities of our country are outrageous. I would really, well, I, I appreciate, uh, well, you know, Chris, just one, one last please. thing. I appreciate the media paying attention to the nurses, and the nurses certainly do, and we, we appreciate the fact that you've given us a voice in terms of speaking. But honestly, we've got to go deeper. We've got to go deeper and say there's something fundamentally wrong with the overall direction of health care in this country and, and globally.